hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome if you're new so today we're off on a little adventure for the weekend we're doing another staycation vibe it's not like the last time where i did an all-inclusive hotel i'm actually doing like a villa bed and breakfast type thing we'll see when we get there because it's my first time but the good thing about it is that it's located in english harbor so there are lots of bars lots of restaurants lots of beaches and other things to do i'm not trying to do the most but i will be eating and going to the beach so stick around if you want to see what i get into quick disclaimer guys i say english harbor a lot but it's actually found at harbor my apologies <laughs> Here we are about to pull up to the hotel. I'm gonna apologize again right now because I did not actually do a room tour or actually record much of the resort when we did get in. We were kind of hungry, so we just set up everything and then went to dinner nearby at Trappers. So this is one of our usual go-to restaurants. All the starters are $30 and all the main courses are $60 and that's Eastern Caribbean dollars. So for my starter, I went with the bear battered shrimp and then for my main course, I had the grilled mahi mahi, which was perfect. And just like that, it's a new day. So it's time to get up, show you guys a mini view of the room. We have a king bed, we have a TV, and we have a perfectly placed mirror, which I enjoy taking pics at. But my favorite thing about the room has to be the view. So let's go outside. And you get the perfect view of Falmouth Harbour. Usually there are a lot of boats in the harbour, but things are a bit quiet now. So this is what it looks like. We're finally up and we're about to go look for breakfast. The balcony here was so cute. I really missed my opportunity to get some shots here. But anyways, let's go for breakfast. I actually found this place on Google Maps while searching nearby places to go to breakfast. It's Sandra's Island Fusion Cafe. It's also located in Falmouth and this is a different view of the harbour. So I got a omelette with sweet pepper and onions while my boyfriend had the French toast. After breakfast, it was back to the hotel to change into my beachwear. I'm wearing a bikinis from House of Bikinis on Instagram. We decided to go to Pigeon Point Beach given that it was less than 5 minutes away from the resort. Thankfully, it wasn't packed as it usually is, so we got a nice little spot on one of the benches with an umbrella. And then we went into the water for a little swim. It was a bit cold, but we made the best of it given that I haven't been to the beach in a while. So we just chilled, enjoyed the water, and then I remembered that there was this other beach located nearby, so we went to explore.
Our adventure was cut short with the rain so we decided to get a quick bite to eat from Sweeties. I got barbecue chicken while he got fried chicken and then we just enjoyed the views from the balcony before it was time for dinner. So just enjoy the clips of the sunset. It was so pretty. dinner, I finally got to go to Cloggy's Bar and Restaurant. It has been on my list to try for ages. I was happy that we got to do this. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a seat outside because it was booked, but that's okay. Straight into main course and I decided to have a seafood pasta, which was great. While he had the mahi-mahi and sweet potato fries, which was also very good. And then I had to get dessert, so I went for the chocolate lava cake and vanilla ice cream, and I absolutely enjoyed it. So this is the room. It's pretty basic, but it's just somewhere to stay the night, to be honest, because we were out and about. In the English cafe area, the bed's pretty comfortable. My favorite part, because you know. But yeah, I think it's a king size bed. They could have done more pillows and a little side table decor, but as I said, pretty basic. Then we have this extra bed, I'm not sure why. Probably would have been better with a couch. So we just have all our stuff on there. And there's a TV, a desk, a chair, and a closet, a safe, and a fridge. I just wish there was a microwave, but we move. I'll show you all the bathroom when he gets out. But, yes, the best part. We outside. Welcome to English Tower. Right on the roadside. But I guess we see all the action. We're gonna go over there for breakfast. Hopefully it's good. And we went over there last night for dinner. Which was pretty awesome, to be honest. I'm gonna do a blog post. So we have our little lounge chair outside, as well as a little seating area where we did use quite a bit this weekend. It's our last day. I'm tired of these two minute weekends, but it was a really good weekend. Like I feel refreshed, even though I still want a vacation because yesterday I actually celebrated my four year work anniversary. Yeah, four years working in one place. Not a lot compared to other people, but still. Yeah, so, Last day, how we're gonna attempt to go to the beach, but as you can see, outside is pretty overcast and it's probably gonna rain because it rained yesterday. But hopefully, for a bit, and then it's home time. I'm in my shop, Zoe Mercedes earrings. I've been wearing them all weekend. They're my fave. My Chatterbox Antigua necklace. I think I got this swimsuit from Marshalls. No, it's not Marshalls, Burlington. And I can't remember I got these shorts, but yeah. This is what I'm doing while I wait for him to come out of the shower so that we can go to breakfast. Because the girl is hungry. Gotta have to show you guys the bathroom. This is it. Very nice shower. And you know once again. Going girls. We're finally on our way to breakfast. We're actually going to a spot next door where I saw a sign that says they serve both of the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we decided to check it out this morning. Again, it's located right on the harbor. What more can you want? Pretty open and spacious. I love the the atmosphere so looking through the menu which was pretty extensive we decided to get the breakfast platter which had waffles pancakes french toast egg bacon sausages potatoes a lot and it was great
You know that little happy dance you do when you're satisfied? That was me. I really enjoyed the eggs. They were nice and buttery as well as the breakfast sausage. In the end, I was defeated because I couldn't finish the waffles or the French toast. But after breakfast, it was back to the hotel. Just chill for a little bit because checkout is at 12 p.m. So yeah, that's basically what we did. Chill, pack up our stuff and then we left. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go to the beach because as I said, it did start to rain. So that's all for this vlog. That brings us to the end of this vlog. As you can see, I'm back home, but I really enjoyed my weekend away. It was quite relaxing. We would have supported many different businesses as opposed to going to one all-inclusive hotel. So that was great. And I also made a vlog post giving my review on the resort as well as the different restaurants. So be sure to check that out. I will link it down below. And until next time, Make sure if you like this video give me a thumbs up comment below if you have any questions and please make sure you're subscribed to my channel let's get to 250 subscribers and stay tuned for more staycation island adventure type things summer is coming so yeah until next time